Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malak over Beard Brand. Today we're gonna to answer the question, did hipsters ruin beards? No, hipsters did not ruin beards. Now I know that's rich coming from a guy that looks like me standing in front of this thing, but hear me out on this. Beards fall into trends, whether you like it or not. But that doesn't mean you need to only grow them when they're popular. Men have been growing beards for as long as they physically could. And people today are still wearing them whether or not they're trendy. But listen to this. Hipsters actually helped beards. Hipsters, or the entire hipster movement in general, created a demand for better products and better information when it comes to taking care of a beard and growing a beard out. Think about it. This channel, Beard Brand, the one you're watching right now, started in 2012 right at the beginning of the hipster movement of the 20 teens. Back then, there was really nothing in terms of information if a guy wanted to just grow out his beard and he wanted some solid advice on what he should do and how he should take care of it. All there was was a guy named Eric Bandholtz sitting on his couch in his living room giving advice to people like me. Now, I'm not saying this channel is a result of the hipster movement, but it certainly came around and rose to popularity during that movement, and partly because people, including hipsters, became more interested in taking care of their beards. Now again, you are not forced to absolutely take care of your beard. You can put down the razor one day and just grow out a beard, because at the end of the day, it's just hair. Beards are not this illustrious thing that are gonna take over your life. It is just like growing out your head hair, or growing out your chest hair, or going to the gym, it's not gonna change your entire life. But for those of us who wanna take their style game to the next level and start investing in the beard and then investing in the rest of our lives, that's what channels like this and the result of the hipster movement are for. I've noticed a very similar trend in my life. Specifically with health, I have celiac disease. That means I can't have gluten, no beard, no bread, but Recently, after I was diagnosed, I noticed that there are a lot of people that started going to the gluten-free trend just for health reasons. They don't have celiac, they're not allergic to gluten, they just started doing it because it made them feel better. Did I get mad at these people? No. What I noticed when this trend took off is that the amount of things that I could start eating that were gluten-free were countless, thanks to these people that jumped on a trend that jumped on a movement. Am I upset that I sometimes get lumped into a group of people that are following a fad diet? Of course. Same thing goes with beards. I'm sure you, if you have a beard, have been lumped into the group of hipsters at some point or another. I know I have, but at the end of the day, you should be thanking these types of people for allowing there to be a demand for something as awesome as this for as awesome as the entire beard culture is now. You don't have to buy into the culture itself, but you gotta admit, there is more free information and more easily accessible products to take care of your beard than there ever has been. So now that the hipster movement isn't in full swing anymore, it's really come down to the individual with the beard. And I think we're in a really, really good place right now. Men now have the tools, the information, and the community to be a man, to be masculine, and to be confident in the decisions that they make, whether it's to grow a beard, shave it off, or take care of it. So, did hipsters ruin beards? Absolutely not. I know it can be annoying to be lumped into a group of people that you're actually not a part of, but at the end of the day, just remember, it's because of people like them that you have access to awesome free content like this, the information, the tools, and the products that have made your beard and your style all that more awesome. All right, that's all I've got for you this week, guys. Until I see you next time, hey, keep on growing. All right, stop. Before you head over to the next video, let me tell you about the Alliance. It's for men who are passionate about self-improvement, about becoming a better version of themselves, and about that mission of ours to keep on growing. Come join us over there and find like-minded individuals who will push you to the next level and hold you accountable to what you say you're gonna do.